Hey everyone, it's Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra. Hello to all my new sapiens. Welcome back to all my existing sapiens. Thank you so much for subscribing. I have a cool little piece of news for you. Let's check it out. Da, 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 112 subs man thank you guys so much uh, you're awesome keep on being awesome so the first thing you're gonna notice here is my totally awesome new setup so I can do this whole big talking head thing it's yeah so today um, you know I, I really like to bring free content to you uh, spoiler alert kind of a tiny little bit of an ad I have a huge uh, crystal reports for SAP business one course and I spent a lot of time working on it I'm gonna give you some free tips and an overview on SAP business one working with crystal reports and what crystal reports is and how to make a basic report um, but also I'm kind of gonna point you towards my crystal reports course but anyways I'll give you a good deal on it I have a little coupon code so let's get started. Boom, up in the corner. That's still super cool. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm the realist. Crystal.battleshipcobra.com, you're gonna get 55% off. It's only $25 for 10 hours, 10 hours. Plus you get to watch me do a cheesy little intro, which is actually kind of hilarious. I, I like that interview. I like this uh, this intro, but uh, definitely check it out. So you can see my course curriculum here. Read that. I have lots of different things, lots of different sections, tons of uh, detail. So today I'm going to go really quickly through making a basic report. I'm going to talk about what uh, Crystal Reports is and how it works with SAP. I'm going to actually show you how to find fields in SAP. I'm going to actually make a report, and um, then I'm going to import a report. So let's get busy. First, business one. So this whole system basically hinges on this view system information. So if you're gonna start, if you don't know the database that well, you need to start with view system information. So we have this form. This is the business partner master data form and you can hold your mouse over say this card code here and you can see in the bottom left, OCRD, comma card code so OCRD is the table you can think of a table as a spreadsheet a giant spreadsheet of information holding all of your business partner master data so the table or spreadsheets OCRD and then the column just like a spreadsheet is card code so you can look at any of these fields here and it'll give you that information so that's how a relation a relational database works it has tables which are spreadsheets linked together to other spreadsheets so obviously if you make a sales order it'll link to the business partner master data to pull information and the pricing and all that stuff and um, that's how it's organized so to give you a better kind of visualization of that I'm gonna go to tools queries query generator I'm gonna type in OCRD which is the table that we figured out here that we need and I'm just gonna click execute so you're gonna see here that it's a big kind of spreadsheet tons and tons of different fields all the information in there so we isolated card code as what we may want to use and I'm just gonna use this report this uh, particular table and I'm gonna filter and do a customer report leave that open for now so we're gonna use card code we're gonna use card name we're eventually gonna use card type and we're going to get started with our Crystal Reports designer. So Crystal Reports was acquired by SAP as a reporting and uh, business intelligence tool. It was created by Business Objects. They were in Vancouver. SAP bought them and now they've actually rolled it into Business One. It's a really, really powerful way of making your reports and document layouts. And if you're using PLD, you will realize there are so many limitations to it and Crystal Reports is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> on top of that crystal reports is used in other platforms too so a lot of people might come in with a little bit of experience with crystal reports which will give them a huge leg up when they're making reports it's very easy to do you can ask your partner your SAP partner or if you're already an SAP partner or a consultant you should be able to get a, a copy of crystal reports designer for free and as a customer you can start making your own reports without any additional licensing I'm gonna hop into the crystal reports designer so this is a CRD crystal reports designer and I'm gonna make a new blank report so this is the database expert and again in my course I'm gonna go through this in much more detail but for right now I'm just gonna give you this basic overview this should be enough for you to make your first report but it's not gonna go into too much detail 
I like Olay DB. Some people are going to use the business one. Uh, I just don't like the business one. Double click on that. <clears throat> SQL Server Native Client 11. Next. You need to get your server credentials from your. Man, I can't type today. What uh, Dilio? You're going to need to get your server credentials from your IT administrator or your SAP partner in order to do this. So you're going to, they're going to have to trust you a little bit. Once you have that, um, you can't really cause any damage, so it's really more of a read-only thing. But you know, they should give it to you. So this is my server, where SQL is. This is my uh, user ID. This is my password. And this is my database. So I'm going to click finish. So here we're going to go to the database that I added. Going to go to the database objects table OCRD, and I'm going to add that table. So obviously you can add unlimited amounts of tables, you can add SQL views, store procs, everything. This is just a completely basic single kind of spreadsheet uh, view of things. So here is Crystal Reports Designer, this kind of stage area. So what we're going to do is go to our field explorer and I'm going to open up this table and I'm going to drag this here into the detail section. So you have these different sections. I go obviously more into this into the course. Report header is once at the top, page header is on every page, report footer is once at the bottom of the report, and page footer is obviously at the bottom of the report. So we're going to add card code, card name, we're going to widen up card name, we're going to add a phone one, and we're going to make that a little bit wider, then we're going to add balance, and we're going to put that about there, and we're going to make that a little wider. We're going to take these fields, and we're going to do this here. You'll notice that these header labels already kind of pop in there, so we're just going to use those for now, because we're being lazy, but you can change them. I'm going to highlight these four, and a really easy way to align them is to right click on what you want to align to, click align and then tops. I'm going to clear out our underline. I'm going to add a bold. I'm going to add a liney line here. Ding. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the section expert to eliminate the report footer because I just won't need it. I'm not going to do anything with it. So uh, right click section expert report section expert either way report footer I'm gonna suppress people think hide hide is one thing suppress means it's completely not in the report so hide you can see here there's a hide they have to make a distinction again I'll explain that in my course so I'm gonna suppress report footer I just don't want it I'm gonna roll that up there I can just hide it too page footer I'll use that but I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a header here so I'm gonna go here and make bigger and I'm gonna go SAP business objects I'm gonna do this as an 18 bold align it to the left there you can see it has these ruler marks too if you feel like it I'm gonna copy and paste this I'm gonna right align it here with this I'm gonna top align it here with that I'm gonna say customer report so this is just a list of customers obviously it's kind of a lame report but you know, nonetheless, I'm going to just bump these up and I'm going to resize this section here. I'm going to add this and again, I'm not being extremely careful. I can use a special field called page N of M in case we have a ton of pages and then I'm going to just roll that up there. So that's it, that's all. Push F5 or you can click your refresh. I'm gonna push F5. So this is, again, it's super, super basic. You can do formulas, you can add custom SQL stuff, you can add parameters so you can run reports and do selection. Anything you can do a selection, there's a, a token system so you can do custom stuff, you can do whatever you want. Uh, in terms of uh, formatting, you can do conditional formatting, you can conditionally suppress things. There's anything you can really think of in terms of printing or reporting is going to be included in this. I go through so much stuff. Again, there's 10 hours worth of stuff. I'm trying to cover it in like 10 minutes. Okay, so I made this report. Everything looks hunky-dory. Save as on your desktop. So this will be uh, BP report. What I'm going to do is click File, Summary Info. I'm going to call it uh, BP Customer Report. And then you can see here, ooh, we have a list of vendors too. So what we can do is look back. We can hold our mouse over there. It's, you can probably see it here. Card type, OCRD.card type. So we want to change that and we want to filter just for customers only. Report, select expert record. And we go to card type is equal to. 
and we'll do just C. You can see there's C, L, and S as an option in there. So obviously lead, customer, and supplier. So it's just customer. It's going to prompt you, refresh it. So I'm going to save that. We just want a list of customers. Obviously we go way more detailed. We can add uh, addresses. We can add all sorts of other stuff in there. Mighty formula. We can display a currency symbol there. Very easy. So I've saved that. Now I'm going to import it into SAP. Modules, Administration, Setup, General, Report, and Layout Manager. You need to be a super user to do that. Import. Next. It's a report, not a layout. If it was a layout, you can save it and you can actually use it to print documents, which is amazing. Uh, SAP Business One comes with a set of default layouts. I also include an example, a uh, couple of examples in my course as well. And if you ask, if you buy my course and ask me, I'm probably going to give you pretty much whatever you want. Select this here. I'm going to put it in the business partner reports. I'm going to click OK. Finish. So that's going to report it. It's going to say a BP customer report was put into there. So I can run that from uh, in here, or I can go right to my sidebar here into the reports. BP customer report appears right in the menu for everybody. You can control authorization to the specific reports too. And then you run it. So anybody in the system can run this that has authorizations. You can also do golden arrow clicking right from here. So I could have said it when I click this, it would open up the uh, corresponding business partner master data or any other object directly from here. So this can also be something like a dashboard. You can do it as a landscape and do a report and show yourself like list of open orders or some sort of CRM type dashboard and things like that. So um, there are a lot of capabilities and power to crystal reports, but this is just a very simple example. So don't forget, crystal.battleshipcobra.com. I put tons of resources. I put tons of work into it for only $25 from this URL. You are going to get 10 hours worth of stuff, a ton of resources, all the knowledge I could have uh, packed into there. If you don't want to do that, you could still comment below if you want another uh, topic, maybe Crystal Reports topic, maybe whatever, anything else in uh, SAP Business One. Or if you have just general questions, shoot them down there in the comments too. Uh, for customers who are enrolled in my course, obviously I get back to you really quickly and I help you with a lot more detailed and specific help. But I'll do my best. I'm really just trying to help everybody uh, get more out of Crystal Reports. I want to thank you guys so much. If you like this content, I'm going to do new videos on Mondays. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.